Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-automation.com Today in this video, we are going to talk about how we can handle web push notification in Selenium WebDriver. So let's quickly see what exactly we are going to cover in this video. So we'll talk about what exactly this web push notification is and how it can be handled in Selenium with Chrome browser and Firefox browser. And the main question comes what is the need or why we have to handle this web push notification okay so let me quickly show you what exactly this web push notifications are now in technically they are a kind of a service which many companies nowadays providing which you can enable in your blog or in your mobile app or in your website so it, it will ask from the customers whether they, they want to receive any kind of notification if they say yes or allow Every time when they push some uh, notifications, right, some promotions, you will get as a uh, message in your browser itself. So let me show you how exactly it looks like. So you must have seen uh, applications where it will ask you, do you want to show notification? You have to say yes or no, allow a blog. So this is nothing but a web push notification. Technically, they are service which any company can subscribe and they can start using it. The same will be applicable for Firefox as well. Little bit UI will change, but the way we handle will remain same. Now we are going to use Chrome options and Firefox option in this video. So in case if you haven't seen my previous video where we discussed about what is Chrome options, what is Firefox option, I would recommend you to watch this video. This is just a quick video around 14 minutes. It added recently from 3. Uh, Selenium 3.7. Previously it was not there. Okay, it was there, but we it was available with a different class called desired capability. Okay, so quickly uh, watch this video. I will give you this link in the description. So let me show you how we can handle this. For Chrome, we just need to add one argument called disable notification. Okay, and this can be easily handled in Chrome. Same goes with Firefox, we have to add a preference called dome.webnotification.enable if we have to set it for. So how to get this from Firefox, we will see. And I will share a link where you can see all the options which is available for Chrome. These are easily available uh, as a list. And Firefox, you can directly go to the configuration and see. I will show you one by one. So let me create a quick package. We'll talk about uh, let's say this is web push and here I will say I will create two different classes one for Chrome and one for Firefox I will be running as a public static void main so first of all we need web driver web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver right and we need Chrome option as well. So Chrome options is nothing but a class. As the name says, it will help you to change your Chrome browser options. Okay, so since it's a separate class, we are creating object. Now we are just going to add one argument. This argument is disable hyphen notifications. That's all and let's open any application which generally have this notification so let me open redbus okay right now we haven't passed this options right so we need to pass this if you don't pass it will again start a fresh instance so when you're passing this option it means you're passing uh, into a constructor so it will start a chrome driver with this particular setting we also need a browser driver so I already have in my uh, download options download directory so I'm just giving webdriver.chrome.driver and this is the driver path and let's quickly run this and see whether it is disabling this notification or not Yeah, it is not allowing, right? Because we have just added as a option, right? Now, if you simply remove it, it will again start giving. 
the same thing we can do with Firefox as well so now if you just go to Firefox and if you just type about colon config you can see it will ask you one permission that you want to accept this just say yes so these are the some Firefox settings which is uh, already available here already they have some true false values if you don't want to go in this way you can go to the settings and you can change it but let's say you want to uh, change it via code so just search for a notifications and hit enter you will find one settings called dome.webnotification.enabled status is default type is a boolean and value is equal to true so if you notice mostly the values which we have either they are boolean either they are string and integer right almost all the settings you will find boolean integer is string so we need to select a method where we have key as a string and value, value uh, as a boolean so let's copy this setting and uh, okay let me first create a separate class for firefox firefox push for firefox we just need a gecko driver so i already have a gecko driver in my download directory so i will just change this to gecko in spite of using firefox uh, chrome option i will say firefox options okay i will simply create object of this class and now you will see a small change here when i say ob uh, opt dot add preference can you see we have three different methods one is add preference in all these three methods you will find we have a key as a string right key as a string but if you see the value value as a boolean value as an integer and value as a string we are going to use the third one where we already have a key and value should be false and how to get the key just right click copy name that's all right and what you need to do you just need to pass this into a firefox driver firefox driver you can see it is asking as for the service and that's all when you right click run as java application you will notice it will not even ask for firefox it will disable okay not only this so whenever you want to make any changes in the settings whether it's a chrome or firefox you can use these classes and you can change the complete settings okay it's a little slow so let's wait okay it will take some time that's fine in the meanwhile i will show you um, iso web push okay so this is one separate company there are many companies in the market which provide this kind of service we are going to use uh, just want to show you iso what exactly it does it gives you the same thing that you can enable this web push notification for your application and you will see they have some pricing as well right up to 2500 subscribers it is free and after that you have to pay okay it's not loaded but yeah let's run it again yeah you can see it is it's started loading and uh, see you don't have to worry about this firefox update it comes once in a while and that too if you update your browsers it will never ask you this so web push notifications are different do not combine with this update you can see it is not even coming for firefox because we have disabled it right so like this you can enable and disable any kind of settings and uh, with the help of firefox option and chrome option okay so that's all i have from my side so if you have any other query just uh, feel free to reach out to me my email is mukesh.20 at learn automation.com 
and uh, if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more selenium updates thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye